this is Wish Trend TV. I'm Serene from 11x11pm 11 11 and I'm glad to be here talking to you guys again. Today I'm going to do a trend report on how K-pop idols, especially girls, um, do their hair and their makeup these days because recently I had the opportunity to get my makeup done at a very very big makeup place in Seoul because I had my teaser taken. If you guys know from my previous video, I mentioned that there's a teaser coming out this month about about me uh, for my team so keep your eyes open for that so yeah let's get started first off um the first thing i realized when i was getting my makeup done was how the makeup artist took care of my skin for idol makeup, since they do a lot of photo shoots and a lot of filming, your skin needs to be completely mattified but moisturized so that your skin doesn't look chalky but it doesn't reflect off any oiliness through the camera. So what um, the person took extra care and getting the um, foundation absorbed into my skin and keeping it matte throughout the day and throughout the filming process. Um, so what they did is they had this puff and they kept on panning it on my skin and as they did that the makeup stuck to my skin more but it got rid of shininess and excess oils on my face even though I have really dry skin and I felt that my skin was hydrated throughout the day. I didn't feel like it was dry or anything so I thought that was really interesting. The second thing was that when the makeup artist was applying eyeliner on my eyes the person um, winged out the eyeliner downwards rather than upwards and this has been a recent trend in Korea to wing out your eyeliner downwards to give your eyes a more like cuter and a nicer look um, rather than completely giving it a cat eye but I have realized that if you don't have your uh, if you don't have a double eyelid a lot of the Korean um, celebrities tend to cat, cat eye their eyeliners and because it gives them a more sharper image and I think that's also really pretty and another thing I realized was she used a lot of sparkles and glitters on the inner corners of my eyes and the outer corners. And what this does is this gives full emphasis to your eyes rather than any other parts of your face. So I thought that, um, I really like that look. I think it suits a lot of Korean girl, um, K-pop artists, for example, Five Dolls. And after school, they all tend to do this. And instead of applying false eyelashes fully onto my eyes, um, they cut it all up into individual eyelashes, stuck them on individually on my upper and lower eyelashes and what this does is this gives a really dramatic effect to your eyes opens them up without making it look really fake and unnatural like there was like a big clump of eyelash just stuck to your eyes so yeah I thought that was really interesting um and they were really delicate with the way they treated me so I was really um thankful for that because I didn't feel like they were poking my eyes or irritating me so I'm sure a lot of k-pop idols out there might agree with what I say and finally, I really want to emphasize the fact that they didn't put any blush on me. So a lot of the focus hasn't been on giving emphasis on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. It's kind of to keep it minimal, just keep it on your eyes or keep it on your lips. So for example, if I were to have really bold red lips, I would put less eye makeup on my eyes and on my cheeks. And since my emphasis was on my eyes, um, they didn't put a lot of blush on me or a lot of contouring or a lot of um, strong lip colors instead they kind of muted down my lips and just put a little bit of pink inside in the inner corners and I thought that um, gives a really natural yet very professional look to a person yeah this is an enough for the makeup another thing that I want to report about idol hair is that a lot of idols have bleached hair, right? And so they can't always change, constantly change their hair colors or else they're gonna go bald and lose all their hair and like, yeah, you start using their hair as like toothbrushes or I don't, I don't what am I saying? But yeah, um, so what they do is they have this thing called a hair chalk and um, it's basically things that look like pastels that you rub against your hair and then you dry it and it tends to your hair for a day. It washes right off so you don't have to worry about it staining or anything. And you see a lot of celebrities use this like FX, Girls Generation, and even some um, male idol groups that have really funky hairstyles like blue and green and it's all different every time they come on the TV. I'm pretty sure they don't change their hair color that often. What they do is they use temporary hair chalks or hairsprays like that to tint their hair for one film, one um, photo shoot, and then they change it again. So if you guys want to know more about hair chalks or where you can purchase them, then ask me in the questions and comments down below. And please like this video, 
And I hope you guys like this trend report. If you guys have any other questions of what it's like to be a K-pop star, um, even though I'm not one yet, um, then please be free to ask me. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, and thank you guys for watching this video. Bye! The second thing was that um, when the lady, with the lady, <laughs> the second thing was that when the makeup artist was applying eyeliner.